Hey guys, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Kelly. My channel is Kelly's Creations and I do a lot of DIYs. And I want to start this video off by apologizing. Life took over. <laughs> and I know I've only posted one video and it seems like forever. And we have family coming for the holidays. We just got done remodeling our kitchen. Me and my husband did it ourselves. I'm actually going to, after this DIY, I'm gonna show you what, what's kept me away from doing videos for the last month. But yeah, it's been so busy around here. And then throw in Christmas. I had so many cute projects I wanted to do and I didn't have enough time in the day to even attempt to do a video. So today I am taking time out. I'm taking time to do a quick little DIY and then I'm going to take you downstairs and I'm going to show you what we've been working on for the last month. We redid our cabinets, we put in new floors, and it was just me and him doing it. So it took like every waking moment we had in preparation for our family, yay, who's coming to visit us. And we're so excited because we don't get to see them that often. So with all that being said, let's get started on today's video. I'm going to do a marshmallow video and it's just a quick and easy DIY. If you guys have fell in love with those marshmallow cups like I have and I can't find them. So if y'all know where to get them, leave it in the comments below because I want those marshmallow cups. But I'm gonna do my spin on it and just do a quick little DIY on how to make these cute little marshmallows that you can use for Christmas decor. You could use it for like a hot cocoa bar station. You know, they're so cute. You can put them in anywhere all year long. That's how cute they are. So with all that being said, thanks for joining me and let's get started. For this project, we're gonna use these dice that have like this chalkboard on them so you can write on them from the Dollar Tree. We need three of those. I'm gonna be using white, black, red, and truffle, which I forgot to get out um, for this project to recreate these cute little marshmallows. So you're going to start by peeling off that circle. Um, as you can see, the cardboard on these dice. I peeled off all four of the chalkboard um, circles and removed them because they would be shiny and they're really smooth. I didn't think the paint would adhere to it. So just rip those off and then use any kind of white paint that you would like. I opted for folk art white and chalk paint, um, but these could have easily, easily been spray painted. And it probably would have been a lot faster and a lot less messy. <laughs> so your choice. Just whatever you choose, you want to make these dice have a totally white finish. I wasn't concerned with the cardboard i didn't even sand it marshmallows are not totally smooth they're rough <laughs> so i thought that would add to the look <laughs> so like i said if you want to sand it you can that is totally up to you i didn't think it really mattered after it was painted but your choice once they're painted i'm going to come in with this truffle paint from walmart and i'm going to add the hot chocolate or this is what I call it, the hot chocolate drips to these. You're going to put chocolate drips going all around all four edges. I did have a picture of the marshmallows on my tablet that I was referencing, but really just put the drips anywhere you want. There's no rhyme or reason. And there's no real way to mess this part up. I used a fine paintbrush to draw on the drips and then I used that same paintbrush to fill the drips in and then I came back with a thicker paintbrush to touch up any areas and to paint the whole top of it and that just worked best for me. Um, do this however you would like as long as you get the chocolate drips on there it's good to go.
Now the fun part. This is what makes your marshmallows come to life, is those cute little faces. I used a toothpick um, because I figured I could draw on these a lot easier with a toothpick and get real fine lines. So I just googled marshmallow, um, marshmallow decor and the faces came up that are on those cute little mugs and I just looked tried to mimic you know what I saw and using a toothpick I did the fine lines except for the eyes I did come back in with a paintbrush I dipped it in the black paint I put it in the center and then I just kept swirling I never moved my paintbrush from the center because it's really hard to get a perfect little circle for the eyeballs I wasn't trying to be perfect I just wanted them to look like circles <laughs> and the cute little eyeballs that are on these marshmallows Once I had the faces the way I wanted them, I mixed some red and white paint together to get this pink blush looking paint so that I could do those rosy cheeks. And also the marshmallows that has pink, um, one has a pink mouth and then the other has this little pink tongue sticking out. <laughs> so um, like I didn't have pink paint so I just mixed the red and white together. It worked out perfect. and I, think the pink um, really adds to it since a lot of this is the truffle and you know black paint so it really makes it pop and aren't these marshmallows cute I just love these little guys And there they are up on my cabinet. Oh, adorable, they're so cute. And like I said earlier, I mean, this isn't a seasonal decor. I don't have a coffee bar or a hot chocolate station. And these are so cute with that. But you can put them in your kitchen, you can put them on a three-tiered shelf. They're really all year round decor. So, and they bring a smile to your face. And I love decor that when I look at it, it makes me smile. So I hope you like this. You do not have to have any artistic ability whatsoever because I don't to make these. It's super simple, super fun. And you don't even have to Google. You can just make any kind of face you want on it. Be creative and see how it turns out. I hope you enjoyed my little marshmallow guys and I am going to show you now a before picture of our kitchen. This is what it looked like when we first bought the house when we first moved in. Um, since then we had bought new appliances but this floor was just awful. Our house used to be a rental so nobody took care of it. Our floor had water damage so we had to remove a lot of the subfloor, install new subfloor.
And then the fun part, we had never done one of these floating floors before. This was the first time. And it really was, once we got started, pretty easy. We added decorative trim to the front of our cabinets and we painted them white and replaced all of the trim and we replaced the vent covers. And it, it just, to me, it looks like a totally different kitchen now. I'm so grateful that I have a husband that I can say, I think we should do this this weekend. And he's always on board for whatever task or project comes into my little head. So there it is. This is what has kept me away from doing videos for a month, but it was well worth it. And I'm so glad to be back making DIYs for you guys. Hey guys, so how cute are those marshmallows? Oh, I love them. <laughs> and thanks for sticking around this year with me. I can't believe um, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. That's amazing. When I started my channel, I didn't, I don't know what I expected. I was just doing it for an outlet. Um, it was been a rough few years. I needed to go back to something to make me happy. Um, and y'all came along for the ride this year. And I'm so grateful. And I just, I can't even put into words um, how much I want to thank you guys. But next year, I have some great ideas. Once the craziness stops, I'm going to go right back to it. Hopefully being able to post two or three videos a week and just go back to doing what I love. I love crafting and I absolutely love sharing it with you guys. So I'm glad I could bring you along for the ride to show you what we've been doing for the last three weeks as far as the kitchen goes. I like it. Um, it has its flaws, but you know, it was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put into it by two very non-professionals doing it. And I think we did a pretty good job. I'm loving it. So I hope everybody has an amazing Christmas and Happy New Year. I probably won't see you again till after the New Year's. So please all uh, be safe and spend time with your family and get as many hugs and kisses in as you can, especially if you are like me and you live in a different state and you don't get to see them as much and just cherish those moments, cherish those moments. So. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful, safe Christmas and New Year's. I'll see you again next year, guys. Bye, y'all.